movie American Fiction just came out. And if you haven't watched it, I urge you to go to your theater and watch the movie American Fiction. Now I got to play a supporting role in that movie, but through the whole process from filming and to the movie coming out, there's just something you know that I learned that I just wanted to share with you guys. Now I got to work with a legend like Jeffrey Wright and Erica Alexander in the scene in the scene that I was in. And you know, for me, it, 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 it was kind of hard juggling the fact that I'm a fan of their work and I'm also there to do a job. So I got there and said, you know, the director, Court Jefferson, you know, welcome me, really nice guy. You know, I met Jeffrey, I met Erica, and you know, we talked about the scene, we rehearsed, and all through that process, I'm like screaming on the inside because of this opportunity to work with Jeffrey Wright and Erica Alexander. Now, after we finished filming, Court Jefferson, the director, said, all right, that's it. That's a wrap for Michael Gerbrin. Everybody give him a hand. Everyone was like, yay, Michael. And I'm like, yeah, thank you very much for having me on set. And man, I was bubbling on the inside. So the driver came to pick me up to take me to my trailer. And I picked up my phone. I called my wife, just wanted to, to tell how I felt in the moment. You know, she didn't pick up. I called my friend Jay. He didn't pick up. So I just dropped my phone. I'm like in the car like this, like, like trying to like muscle it in, you know? And the driver made the mistake of asking me, so how was your day today? And I just went off. Yo, man, this was the best day of my life. I'm from Nigeria. I moved here in 2012. You know what? I just told him my whole story and like what it meant to, to work with a, with a veteran like Jeffrey Wright. You know, I was just going on and on and on. And at the end of that, that story, or I'll say that conversation with the driver, it's like, yo, you should write a book, you know? <laughs> but also fast forward two weeks ago, I got to watch the movie for the first time with my wife and my friend Jay. And I was proud of myself. You know, that's, that was the first time that I watched myself on screen. And I felt like, yeah, man, you, you deserve that. Like, you deserve it, you know? And the whole, my whole life kind of flashed before my eyes. And when I say my whole life, all the times when I felt like nothing was working, you know, it was too quiet and, and, and I'm a failure, I'm a bum, what am I gonna do, you know? Now, one analogy just keeps coming to my head. You know how if, if someone's swimming and they're drowning, the harder they fight to, to save themselves, the, the deeper to get in the water. So if you try, you fight hard, even someone, even like a professional swimmer who's trying to save you, can't save you when, you, when you're struggling, you have to be calm. And that picture kind of got in my head because in moments when you feel like things are not working for you, when things are quiet, when you, you've had so many no's, you know, people rejecting your ideas, you know, not finding work, that's the time where you actually discover who you are. See, I filmed that movie, I think September or October last year, and it's been over a year. And last year was a tough year for a lot of actors because the writer's strike happened, the SAG after strike happened. So really there were no jobs. Now, in the past, I would have been devastated. Like, oh my God, I'm an actor. There's no opportunities. What am I gonna do? Maybe I should find another job. Maybe I should quit acting and do something more stable. But I didn't do that. Now, I got the opportunity to, to film corporate videos for clients, you know, record my podcast. And, and that kept me going. You see, when you feel like you're stuck or the, the stagnancy around you, that's, that's a huge opportunity to compromise. That's when a lot of people change gears. They, they give up. They, 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 they quit on themselves. Like, oh, that's it, I'm, I'm doing something else. So for me, watching that movie kind of reminded me like, or kind of like encouraged me to say, yeah, man, you deserve this. You know, it's, it's been eight, 10 years of this, you know, getting jobs and not getting jobs. But having watched that movie and what it represents and having to have played a part in it was really, really encouraging for me. See how life is like a movie, right? Let's take Rocky, for instance. Why do a lot of people love Rocky? Because we can relate to the story of this underdog, right? Who, who came from nothing to something, who was almost like a Spartan fighter to, to become the world champion of the world. But also, 
the duration of that movie is like two hours max. I'm not sure. I'm just par you know, I'm just kind of guessing here. And the mistake we make is when we watch stories or movies of people who inspire us, we almost want like an instant result. Our life is not the duration of an hour 20 minutes of a movie it's, it's, it's it, 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 it 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 covers everything it's like your whole life right it encompasses when you were born what school you went to you know living with your parents and growing up going to college and it's like a whole lifetime of experience and the mistake we make is that um, somehow in our heads to think like oh my life's gonna change in like you know in an instant you know but that doesn't happen and if we're able to stay present and I know it sounds cheesy stay present and quiet but if you're able to to stay present and just dig deep within yourself that's when you start to discover what really you're made of it's easy when you have things going on for yourself and you, you know, you're making money, creating all these things. But what, what happens when there's this total silence? What, what happens when it feels like nothing's working? And that's where you discover who you truly are. So I just wanted to share with you guys that, that things are going to happen. Things are going to change, but it takes time. It takes time. Don't... I know there's so much, just so many things, so much information out there. You know, you want to read a book and watch this and change this, but it just takes time. My whole journey of becoming an actor has been a 10 year process in America. A lot of ups and downs, times when I felt like I was going to give up, but things are starting to change. And that's because I was able to wait. If you're able to wait, or if you're able to dominate the waiting game, there's always something is gonna happen. Now, it might not be a big bang experience, but little by little, step by step, precepts upon precepts, you're gonna amount to something if you don't give up. And that's what I just wanna share with you guys. My name is Michael Gibran, and if you didn't know, I have a podcast, it's called Road to the City with Michael Gibran. You can check it out, you can find it everywhere you get your podcast. And that's it from me, people. I hope this inspires you. And go check out my last video. I made like a spec spec ad for, for New Balance. I want you guys to check it out. And that's it from me again, Michael Gibran. This is Road to the City. Until the next video, take care, people. Peace out.